What happens when veteran Roman legions march into the Badlands of Gaul? Well, in today's video, we're going to find that out, taking our glorious legions from the desert sands of Africa and Asia and turning them on the forests of Gaul. Can we unify Gaul under the banner of a Roman civilization? Stay tuned to find out. And here we are back as Rome, guys. Last time we thoroughly bashed about the Ptolemies to the point where they are basically nearly dead now. And uh, we also had a good go on Carthage as well, didn't we? Well, what are we going to be doing today, though, guys? And there is one culture that we have really not tested ourselves out against that much. And it is the Gauls. So today we are going to be conquering Gaul in the name of Julius Caesar, of course, um, ready to take all of Gaul and get our borders sorted over here. First things first though, guys, we need to finish off these missions by taking the Pillars of Hercules. So we're going to get ready for that war and we'll basically just do this war with our legions. Well, guys, the truce is up with Carthage. So uh, let's get going on them. The Ptolemies are in this war, but honestly, guys, I don't think we really need to worry about them there. Getting overrun by the Ptolemaic Revolt, and we are just using our legions at the moment, so um, let's go for this. The only problem just doing it with our legions is, as you can see, there's a few, got to be a few gaps in the line maybe, but overall, I think we'll be okay, guys. <laughs> and I do genuinely think that Carthage is just kind of done at this point. I really don't think that we need to worry about them anymore, so uh, <laughs> like, these are the troops that they mustered. 3k, yes. <laughs> It's kind of a shame for them, isn't it? <laughs> and let's land over here on Carthage. Nice. And that was done in about a couple of months. <laughs> I've got to say, though, Carthage has managed to muster some troops. Just just not many. <laughs> Ooh, massive naval battle over here. But it is just Liberni and Triremes, I believe, for them. So a bit strange as to why they would take that battle. But it looks like we won it pretty easily. And, of course, they took Tingy back. Oh, dear. Well, everything in Iberia is kind of taken, apart from these two random pieces of land. So, um, let's bring this guy back across. Well, Carthage is just running rampant through our lands with their little 2k stacks. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not much we can really do about that. We're just going to continue chilling over here. I mean, we're just going to take all of their land, so that's fine. Well, I think this might be the first battle that uh, we're actually going to fight in this war. So, let's see how it goes. It looks, uh, yeah... It looks pretty good. Good, A great cavalry victory. Hetairoi. Nice. Well, guys, I think we're just going to get out of this war. Not take too much aggressive expansion. We're going to take this area here to finish off our missions. That now allows us to do the Pillars of Hercules. Finishing off these missions. And let's see what we want to do about this. I mean, there's not that many pops. We can get four pops and a city. So we'll go for that at Banassa. And let's start rebuilding our navy. I'm going to build a few of the better ships first, and then we're going to fill out the rest with some of the worst triremes. Well, let's finish off these missions, guys, and then we're going to go straight in for subduing Gaul. Fantastic. And a few of you have been saying, go further than the Roman Empire. You know, this game is fantasy. Go further than it. Don't worry, we will do that at some point. But first of all, I want to establish the correct borders for the real Roman Empire. And then once we have fully formed them, we will then look further afield and see whether we can go further than the Roman Empire. But the first goal is to restore it as it once was. Right, let's now take subduing Gaul. Athwart the mountains of mythical Pyrene and the mighty Renus River lays a patchwork of Celtic tribes who fight petty wars over vendettas and women. It is time to expand our borders and bring these vulnerable barbarians under the rule of the Roman state before someone else beats us to it or the Gauls come to their senses and cross the Alps once more. Awesome. So uh, let's go for that. And as we can see from these missions, guys, you need to take, like, quite a lot of gold, so we are going to be doing that in today's video. Let's go securing the Alps, and that allows us to form a Colonia, which all of them are forming cities, so honestly, it doesn't really matter. I go think we'll go for Curia, because that is a very Roman name. <laughs> so, of course, now we're just going to let our aggressive expansion tick down a little bit, and then we'll get into Gaul, guys. I'm also going to go around and start building a few foundries about the place. That is going to skyrocket our economy. Tech-wise, I've been staying true to last time and going down a few of the religious advances just to get a bit more happiness and a bit more conversion speed in our land. Well, there we go, boys. Navy is thoroughly rebuilt. And there we go, guys. We have integrated Judea, so we no longer have, um, you know, 
a, a little other person inside our lands that should really be rightful Roman clay. <laughs> well, guys, we've just built a glorious little road network up here in Africa. Very nice indeed. So there's only one thing to do now with our low aggressive expansion. And that is to invade Gaul. Let's go. Well, we've got two legions left to bring across the ones that were building the roads, but I don't think we'll need them, will we, guys? So <laughs> let's get into this. Why is Carthage in this? Ah, well, I, I guess we'll uh, <laughs> keep those legions there. I have no idea why they're in this, um, but that's fine. <laughs> so let's go for Vacontia and uh, let's get into Gaul. And isn't it just glorious? Look at this, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go. <laughs> and there's really not that much to show, honestly. We're just absolutely flattening them, as you might expect. <laughs> The annoying thing is, someone else has taken this opportunity to take some of their land. So, um, ah, that is rightful Roman clay, my friends. <laughs> well, let's have a look at this battle. This is our Macedonian legion versus them. Let's see how we do. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we do quite well, don't we? Uh, poor Gauls, they've, they've not managed to keep up with the current tech, have they? And Carthage is similarly just getting absolutely smashed over here. They're like... Like I said before, guys, Carthage is just, like, done at this point. <laughs> and another big battle. 40,000 versus 10,000 of them. And, um... Yeah, carnage, I think that's the right word for it. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. This is what we're going to take from this first initial war. It allows us to do two of our missions in one go. And it's not too much aggressive expansion either. Glorious. Let's go for that. And there we go. A big chunk has been taken out of the Gauls already. That then allows us to do the southern coast over here. And honestly, although it says 14 pops in Massalia become Roman... Every single pop apart from one I've just checked already is Roman. So there's literally no point in doing that. We might as well found another city and we'll go for Narbo. Let's also now do into the west. And this one absolutely has to be founding a city. So let's go for Aginum. Let's also do gateway to the north too, guys. Which um, I'm thinking we go for Lugdunum there. So yeah, let's go for that. And there's no point messing around. Let's go straight into the north. Well, let's just get out of this war straight away, guys, with the piece of land we need. And let's go straight to war with these boys. And it is rather a mess with this revolt over here. So I did fabricate a claim on them. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go for that. Let's see what we're at war with now. Quite a lot of uh, Germania <laughs> and Gaul right now. I think we can handle it though, guys, can't we? <laughs> and some of our troops are in the darkest depths of sort of, uh, I don't know, even Eastern Germania might be stretching it at this point. I don't know what they're doing, but they're having a good time. I've left a lot of them on sort of independent and carpet siege. So uh, let them go and have a good time, basically. <laughs> and even our levies are just stack wiping them all over the place. So um. Yeah, it's going relatively well. It's just deciphering this mess when we get to it. Oh my days, guys. We might actually lose a battle here. That's insane. This unit was quite a small unit. And we're actually going to lose. Wow. <laughs> that is the first time in a long, long time, honestly. Well, guys, I think we're going to take all of this land, all of the land that is basically west of the Rhine over here. And it's not even that much aggressive expansion, so um, let's go for that. There we go, a little bit of a lag once we've done that. And then we'll take uh, all of the land west again from the revolt. Well, unfortunately, the revolt is in a war with uh, Britannia over here, so we're just going to take what we can off them. And there we go, we now touch the North Sea. Fantastic. And this is the reason why I've saved all of our money and influence, guys, because as you can see, there is like no cities in this region at all. So we're going to be founding loads of cities, building our grand theatres and great temples and all that sort of thing, converting the locals to more civilized ways. And isn't that fitting, guys? We just got death to the Gauls, which gives a forest combat bonus plus 10%. Very nice indeed. Well, we just got formulaic worship, guys, as well, which pop conversion speed plus 0.25, which is awesome. Awesome. Really good modifier that. Let's go. And have a look at this, guys. From there being like two cities in this whole area that we conquered, or two or three before, look how many cities that we have founded now. 
building our grand theatres and great temples in all of them as well. Very nice indeed. We're going to continue with that, but first of all, we need a bit of influence to get our stability up again because it's it's quite low right now <laughs> and of course as usual we've built a glorious road network around these uncivilized lands so we can get to the revolts a bit quicker <laughs> but we actually got a load of claims from our missions for gaul which is absolutely glorious so uh let's get back into these guys and we are going to be taking a lot of land and god damn it i didn't realize they were still in this revolt i thought they'd finished it because they cleaned up all the land up here but unfortunately not. <laughs> unfortunately not. So, um, yeah, that's going to cause a little bit of pain. But hopefully uh, we can deal with it. I mean, Force March is just so good, isn't it, guys? You can just catch anyone. Like, watch this. We've got a massive... They had a massive head start on us. And, yeah, we can just absolutely smash them. Nice. Oh, yes. And I forgot Carthage was in this war as well. Um, Let's just bag on Carthage another time, shall we, guys? And another Force March has led us to capture these Carthaginians in Gaul. Yay! <laughs> I hope that's not Hannibal. <laughs> well, we've pretty much full occupied all of their land in Gaul at the moment, guys. We're just waiting for our war score to get to the point when they will peace out, but yeah, it's not really much to do, is there? Just... <laughs> Just let the, let the troops roam, boys. Let the troops go. <laughs> They're enjoying themselves. They're having a good time. Oh, look at this little legion. Oh, that is cute. That is cute. I didn't even notice that before. Nice. I mean, Carthage is doing stuff, but not much stuff, really. <laughs> and it is so nice having these legions. I mean, look at that. 42% as soon as they get onto a fort. Oh, it's just glorious, isn't it? And I think an event gave them some light infantry, so that is a little bit annoying, but extra troops can't really complain too much about that. And I can actually sue for peace separately now from Carthage, and we are just going to take this sliver of land, taking us to the Ptolemies, so we'll eventually be able to uh, join our lands together. Nice. Well, there we go, guys. This is what we're going to take. It's 42 aggressive expansion, so... um. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting very close to 100, and look at that lag. <laughs> but, I mean, it's just juicy, isn't it? It's it's lovely. It's juicy. Well, let's go for the Gallic Heartlands over here, and let's go for Lemovicum over this way, because it's going to found a city. Well, we're also going to take the rest of the land up against the Rhine here, guys, so let's go for that. We're going to declare two wars at once both of these wars. Let's go. Well, here we go. We can get out of one of them already. Only a few months have passed. Nice. Oh, wow. We actually got defeated again, guys. I was not expecting that. But let's see how we do against this army now. Very nice indeed. We're absolutely smashing them. Come on. Let's go. Look how little morale we have lost. <laughs> That's insane. Come on, the heavy infantry. Here comes the cavalry. They have died a little bit, but uh, yeah, that's that's a pretty nice victory, honestly. And these Germanians are putting up more of a fight than anyone else, so fair play to them. They're doing a they're doing a decent job. And this time, our legion even got defeated. Oh wow! Yes, they they definitely are putting up a bit of a fight. Nice. And of course, they had to be vandals, didn't they? <laughs> Fair play. It's historically accurate. <laughs> and look how many foundries we're building now, guys. <laughs> it's quite a lot. Uh, we had a bit of money to spend. Well, there we go, guys. This is what we can take from them. Basically making these guys into an enclave. Very nice indeed. And it's only six aggressive expansion for all of this land as well, because it's so low population. Glorious. Let's go. And now we can do to the Renus as well. And let's found the city of Argentoratum. Nice. And we can also do Gallic Supremacy. Glorious. And of course, we are going to do it based on pop conversion speed and assimilation speed as well. Well, let's finish off these missions, guys. Nice. Well, you know what time it is, guys. It's time to found some cities. <laughs> and I think while we do that, we're going to take secure the Alpine passes. For far too long, we have been lax in securing the mountain passes that lead into the Alps. Grai. Easy for me to say. And this has caused problems for our northern regions due to raiding. Although the tribes that live in this area will be difficult to extricate from their fortresses, we must proceed lest we court disaster. The Roman Senate commands that we subdue this area once and for all. And because we basically have already sort of 
secured it i think this should be quite easy for us so let's first of all go for stop the raids which gives a lot of population growth and commerce value to this region let's also go for subdue the ratians over here and uh, we can found another city in this region so let's go for tridentum Alps Grey and Pawoni Yep. <laughs> Easy for me to say again. And let's go for Octodorus with this one. Ferrum Noricum as well. Let's go for Subdue the Vindalicians over this way. And let's go for Ayuvarvum to found a city. Let's also go for Land of the Alpine Lakes. Very nice indeed. And I think we'll found Janava. And we get Trophy of the Alps as well, guys, which gives a Camelette over here civilization level migration attraction and popper simulation speed and another city um it's pretty nice i mean there is this one last mission here um but it is on the other side of the rhine so i'm not too bothered about taking that now like i said guys now when we are trying to found you know the historical borders we will obviously take that later um, that does obviously preclude us from building a Colonia, though. So we might take that. I mean, isn't Subria... Okay, yeah, let, let, let's just let's just do it. <laughs> and pretty much out of all that land that we just took, guys, there was only four cities. So um, once we've got our stability back up a little bit, we, uh, we need to get founding a few more cities. <laughs> and there we go. The war within Subria is over. We're just going to take that so we have nice clean borders. And that allows us to do Agri Decumates over here. And then we can finish our missions. Nice. Now let's build a few more roads. We might as well show these guys a little bit of what civilization means, shouldn't we? And from the missions, look at this. We've got seven cities ready to go. That is very nice indeed. Well, I think we got to the end of the game guys um the roman people are to be lauded by the gods themselves having built an empire surpassing even that of alexander history shall look back on us not merely as conquerors but as bringers of civilization and truth to all parts of the globe i, I think we're going to continue playing <laughs> and there we had like all of the cities uh, finish at one time so uh, i'm just going to go through them make sure we are building the right things in them and our stability is is not great right now <laughs> 17 guys um, we have had a couple of bad events giving us a, a deficit, which didn't really help with that. But yeah, hopefully once our aggressive expansion is down a little bit more, we should be okay. But honestly, taking these bits of land is not going to be much aggressive expansion anyway. And let's create the Legion of Cisalpine Gaul too. Ooh, and we had a huge slave revolt in Judea, so we'll go and deal with that. And these slaves have done a little bit of damage to us over uh, <laughs> across the whole of the levant and the middle east so um yeah let's uh let's get rid of them we're gonna go on force march and make sure that we can take them out here we go and that is them all good 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 and there we go that is the revolt dealt with nice and has anyone got any idea why the music has completely gone like i for some reason cannot make the music play <laughs> so I don't know. We will see. And I reloaded the game and now the music is fine. <laughs> well, guys, let's clean up Gaul once and for all. Let's go. And this is, as expected, a bit of a walkover. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and that's just for this, these little guys over here as well. Like, um, not even anyone important. <laughs> and I think they got some mercenaries, but they don't have them anymore. <laughs> well, let's peace out with these boys. Well, there we go, guys. This is what we're going to take from these boys. And that absolutely does clean up Gaul. Very nice. It's lagging a little bit. <laughs> as it does when you get late into the game there and there is this little piece of land obviously that we need to clean up but isn't that glorious look at that that is very nice borders indeed we have a lot of aggressive expansion again but that's not really an issue to be fair and uh, what do we have to clean up now a little bit of that we need to take obviously up to hadrian's wall in britain over here up to the caucasus and down to the bottom of the uh the persian gulf pretty much and then all of egypt too which i think that'll be a lot of aggressive expansion honestly egypt so uh yeah we're we're doing pretty well aren't we but let's just have a quick look at where we are in terms of cultures as you can see we're already converting the cities over here to roman do you remember when we last looked at that that was all blue now very red same with anatolia the same with the middle east too lots of roman and north africa as well but this is really where things get interesting look how much hellenic there is 
in the world, guys. Like, that is insane. <laughs> we have converted pretty much everywhere to Hellenic. Even all of North Africa that we only just took over. And loads of uh, Gaul as well that we've only just taken to. So... That's pretty insane already. So uh, what I'm going to do, guys, we've got a lot of money. Let's found a few cities. Let's build a few buildings. And uh, then we'll see what we're going to do next. And let's get another Legion in Asia. Well, guys, I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. I hope you did enjoy. A like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated if you did enjoy this video of course we are very close now to forming the roman empire we're going to continue after that of course if there is enough interest but let me know what you think we should do next we have subduing britannia and punic rivals i think punic rivals will allow us to get into hispania whereas of course subduing britannia is just getting into uh britain as well and then we'll see what we want to do after that well guys another glorious episode thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all again on the next video and as always massive thank you to the channel members of cowie pascal and david if you are interested in supporting the channel guys you can do for as little as one dollar a month down below but without further ado i'll see you all again on the next video